Today, I'm showing you the AI agent that's making everyone lose their minds. This thing doesn't just chat, it actually does the work for you. While you sleep, it's building reports, analyzing data, and crushing tasks. And here's the crazy part. It beat OpenAI's best tools in every test, but there's drama happening behind the scenes that could change everything. Let me show you what's really going on with Manus AI. Hey, if we haven't met already, I'm the digital avatar of Julian Goldie, CEO of SEO agency, Goldie Agency. Whilst he's helping clients get more leads and customers, I'm here to help you get the latest AI updates. Look, I've been in this game for years. Built a seven-figure link building agency from nothing. Got 70,000 YouTube subscribers, taught 50,000 students, and I'm telling you right now, what I'm about to show you is the biggest shift in AI I've seen since ChatGPT launched. Julian Goldie reads every comment, so make sure you comment below what you think about this new AI agent. So here's what happened. On March 6th, 2025, a Chinese startup called Butterfly Effect dropped something that broke the internet. They called it Manus AI, and within 24 hours, their servers crashed from too much traffic. But here's where it gets wild. This isn't just another chatbot. This thing actually does your work for you, like really does it. While you're sleeping, it's writing reports, analyzing spreadsheets, and completing tasks that would take you hours. The head of product at Hugging Face called it the most impressive AI tool I've ever tried. Jack Dorsey, the guy who co-founded Twitter, started praising it. And, get this, invite codes were selling for thousands of dollars on the black market. But let me tell you what nobody else is talking about. There's some serious drama happening behind the scenes. And by the end of this video, you'll understand why this could change everything about how we work. First, let me show you what makes Mana so different. Most AI tools just give you text answers, you ask a question, you get words back, that's it. But Manus actually opens browsers, fills out forms, analyzes data, and creates full reports. It's like having a smart assistant that never sleeps and never needs breaks. And just recently, they dropped two massive updates that make this even more powerful. The first one is called Manus Slides. You can literally create presentations in one click. But here's the crazy part. You can also build websites and edit them step by step with their website editor. Like having a content management system built right into the AI. Let me show you what's possible with the website editor. You can build a landing page for something like the AI Profit Boardroom. Not only does it create a beautiful landing page, but you can click edit mode and change the copy, change the colors, make headlines metallic, and it's all responsive on mobile too. It's like having Elementor on steroids, but powered by AI. The second update is even crazier. It's called Manus Cloud Browser. You log in once to your platforms and Manus remembers everything. No more repeated logins, no more interruptions. You can access paid content, exclusive platforms, everything. Just enter a prompt, close the app, and it handles the rest. Here's how it works. You give it a task. Let's say you want to analyze the real estate market in New York. Instead of just telling you what it thinks, Manus actually goes to real estate websites, looks at current listings, checks price trends, and builds you a complete report with charts and data. And here's the crazy part. It shows you everything it's doing. There's this window called Manus's computer where you can watch it work. You see it opening websites, clicking buttons, reading pages. It's like watching someone work on your computer, but that someone is an AI that works at superhuman speed. But wait, there's more. This thing doesn't stop working when you close your laptop. It runs in the cloud so you can give it a big research project, go to sleep and wake up to a completed report in your inbox. Try doing that with ChatGPT. The team behind Manus proved this works by beating OpenAI's best tools in something called the Gaia benchmark. This is a test that measures how well AI can solve real world problems. Humans score 92% on this test. GPT-4, with all its plugins, only scores 15%, but Manus, it crushed every level. Now here's what's really smart about how they built this. Manus isn't just one AI, it's actually multiple AI systems working together. They took Claude 3.5 Sonnet from Anthropic, which is amazing at coding. They combined it with Alibaba's Quen model, which is great at understanding tasks. Then they created specialized sub-agents for different jobs. So when you give Manus a complex task, it breaks it down. One sub-agent handles planning, another does research, another writes code if needed, another formats the final output. They all work together like a team, but at A, I speed. And the results are insane. Let me show you some real examples from actual testing. With the website editor, you can build an SEO directory website that actually ranks number one on Google for AI profit boardroom. That's a real keyword. The site has a proper CTA to book strategy sessions and everything. You can also build Mario themed games, create AI content writer tools that run on API and make multiple landing pages. All of this gets deployed on custom domains or their Manus.space subdomain. 
And here's the crazy part. The design quality is actually better than manually built websites. For the slides feature, here's what's possible. You can say, build an amazing presentation about Manus AI agents taking over the world. It takes about 10 to 15 minutes and creates a fully animated presentation with floating elements, proper branding, and organized slides. You can download it as PDF or share via link. But here's what makes it even more powerful. You can set up presentation design preferences in the knowledge section. You tell it your brand colors, that you prefer modern sleek designs, and it remembers this for every future presentation. It's like having a personal design team that knows your brand. But here's where the story gets interesting. Remember, this came from China, and that's causing some serious waves in the AI world. See, everyone thought the US was dominating AI, OpenAI, Google, Microsoft. They're all American companies. But then DeepSeek shocked everyone by building GPT-4 level performance for a fraction of the cost. And now Manus is showing that China can build AI agents that actually outperform American tools. But here's what most people don't understand about this technology. It's not just about convenience. It's about fundamentally changing how work gets done. In Julian's agency, they don't have people doing design, coding, building, or deploying stuff anymore. The reason is simple. You can easily automate it in a few clicks using Manus and it's done in a day. People don't get overwhelmed. You don't have to worry about managing someone or doing one-to-one -one catch ups. You just automate most of the processes. It's amazing how few employers and companies are doing this. Manus is really good at designing, coding, building, deploying, and researching. You can build games, tools, apps, websites, presentations, pretty much anything you need. Right now, you probably spend hours every day on repetitive tasks, researching information, creating reports, analyzing data, scheduling meetings, managing emails, all of that could be automated with tools like Manus. But that also means major changes for jobs. If an AI can do research better than a junior analyst, what happens to entry-level research jobs? If it can create reports faster than a consultant, what happens to that industry? I'm not saying AI will replace everyone, but it will definitely change what humans focus on. The value will shift to strategy, creativity, and relationship building. The routine work will get automated. And that's why I think what's happening with Manus is so important. It's not just a cool new tool, it's a preview of the future of work. Now, you might be wondering, can you actually use Manus right now? The good news is that it's now available for everyone. It's no longer locked behind that exclusive waitlist where less than 1% of people got access. But here's the thing, even when it was buggy and limited, people were still calling it revolutionary. Early users reported crashes during complex tasks, factual errors, and getting stuck in loops. But the core technology was so impressive that none of that mattered. The team has been working hard on improvements. They've added the slides feature, the cloud browser, better website editing tools, and more stable performance. You can now manage all your websites in one place, deploy to custom domains, and even set up private sites. The team is working on fixes. They're improving stability. They're adding new features. The slides feature now lets you create presentations that are fully animated and professional looking. The cloud browser eliminates the need for repeated logins and the website editor gives you a full content management system inside the AI. You can also duplicate sections, copy images, switch to mobile responsive mode, and even restore previous versions if you mess something up. It's like having professional web development tools built directly into the AI. But the real question is, will they survive the regulatory pressure? Moving operations to Singapore helps, but it doesn't solve everything. If the US government decides this technology is a national security risk, they could still face restrictions. And that brings me to the bigger picture. We're entering an era where AI capabilities are advancing faster than regulations can keep up. Manus is just one example. There are probably dozens of similar projects in development right now. Some will come from the US, some from China, some from Europe, and they'll all push the boundaries of what's possible. The question is whether governments will try to control this technology or let it develop freely. From a business perspective, this creates both opportunities and challenges. If you can get early access to tools like Manus, you could have a huge competitive advantage. Your team could be 10 times more productive while your competitors are still doing things manually. I've seen this firsthand. The website built with Manus for the AI Profit Boardroom community is now ranking number one on Google for that keyword. It converts really well, sends traffic directly to the community, and was incredibly easy to set up. The design loads faster than manually built websites, but you also need to be careful about data security and compliance. Make sure you understand where your data is going and who has access to it. And here's something most people aren't talking about. The success of Manus shows that the future of AI isn't just about having the best models. It's about orchestration. It's about combining different 
AI systems in smart ways. That's actually good news for smaller companies. You don't need to build your own large language model to compete. You can take existing models and combine them in creative ways, just like Manus did. But you need to move fast. The window for this kind of innovation won't stay open forever. As the big tech companies catch up, it'll be harder for startups to compete. So what should you do right now? First, stay informed about AI agents. This is moving fast and the landscape changes every week. Second, think about what repetitive tasks in your business could be automated. Third, start experimenting with available tools, even if they're not as advanced as Manus. Because here's the truth. Whether it's Manus or something else, autonomous AI agents are coming. The question isn't if, it's when, and the businesses that adapt first will have the biggest advantage. The drama around Manus shows us that this technology is so powerful that it's creating geopolitical tensions. That's not something you see with normal software tools. It only happens with truly transformative technology. And that's why I'm watching this space so closely. Because the next few years will determine whether AI agents become widely available tools that boost productivity, or whether they become restricted technologies that only certain companies can access. Either way, the world of work is about to change dramatically and tools like Manus are just the beginning. I've been tracking AI developments for years now and I can tell you this, we're at a tipping point. The combination of powerful language models, autonomous agents and cloud computing is creating possibilities that seem like science fiction just a few years ago. But with great power comes great responsibility and right now we're still figuring out how to use these tools safely and effectively. What I can tell you is this, don't wait for permission to start learning about AI. Don't wait for your company to tell you it's time to adapt. Start now, learn what's available, experiment with what you can access, because the future belongs to people who understand how to work with AI, not against it. Because that future is coming faster than you think. Look, if you want to stay ahead of these AI developments and actually use them to scale your business, you need to join my AI Profit Boardroom. This is where 1,000 members are already using AI to get more customers and save hundreds of hours with automation. We're tracking every new tool, every breakthrough, and every opportunity. And if you want help with your SEO strategy, while the AI landscape is changing, I'm offering free SEO strategy sessions. Link is in the comments and description below. But here's the thing, if you want the real playbook on AI tools, you need to check out the AI Success Lab. We've got over 14,000 members in there, and I drop new tutorials every single day. We have SOPs and processes for over 100 different AI use cases. You get all the video notes, all the trainings, and access to everything we discover. The links are in the comments and description. Join 14,000 other people who are already using AI to transform their businesses. Don't get left behind while everyone else moves forward. Comment below and let me know. Are you ready for AI agents to change everything, or are you worried about what this means for the future of work? I'll see you in the next video.